Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, this is the very first episode of Zach's Top 10. Today, we are doing the Top 10 PBS Kids Show, so, okay. Okay, number 10, Between the Lions. This show came from August 1st, 2000 to December 1st. 2010. 2010 is the only time I remember watching this show. So, this has the Papa Lion, the Mama Lion, the Brother Lion, and the Sister Lion. I don't know if there's a Grandma or Grandpa or an Uncle or an Auntie Lion. I don't know. Number 9, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. This introduces Fred Rogers interacting with kids all the time in every episode. This premiered in 1969 on the predecessor of PBS NET right before in 1970. NET was replaced by PBS. Number 8, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. This is like a spin off of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which is kind of weird. I kind of remember Daniel Tiger wearing no pants and having a sore, and then at the end he takes it off and has no pants and shoes, which is super weird. Number seven, Thomas and Friends. Now, this does have a great weird thing. It had a few book series from 1885 to 1955. Then it became a TV series in 1984 with real train miles, I don't know. But then, on July of 2008, the mouths of the engine start moves. Kind of weird when it moves. Well, I can't wait for season 25 to come. Well, the first name in 1984 was Thomas the Tank Engine Friend. Blee! It was Thomas the Tank Engine Friend. Sorry. Then the, they renamed it Thomas and Friends. And I can't wait for the reboot. I don't know. Now, number six, Cyber Chase. This introduces characters like, um, whoever those two is, and Nezzy. Um, oh, and also, don't call her Nezzy, because her friends kind of named her Nezzy for a moment. They need to go into cyberspace to stop Hacker from hacking the game. Number um, Number five. Eleanor wonders why. So, okay, this show is kind of like my favorite, way better than Super Why. So, okay, Eleanor goes on adventures and she wonders and she knows why. I like this show because, well, I'm glad it didn't come in one of those years. I'll tell you later. And number four, Clifford the Big Red Dog. This show was kind of one of my favorites. Well, the reboot is kind of also one of my favorites. And number three, Clifford the Big Red Dog reboot. I think the new Clifford is way better than the old one. Well, too bad we didn't get this picture for our history of PBS Kids, but if you want to see that, the link is in the description. Number two is The Magic School Bus. Now, that show introduces Miss Fig and her students going on the field trip on a bus, dancing around the streets and going into people's bodies. And the reboot was kind of on Netflix and Cubo, which I will do a history of Cubo in one of those future videos. Okay, now we're at number one, Sesame Street. Okay, now it's number one, Sesame Street. Okay, this series was a town, a city, in 1955. Then it had a TV series in 1969 by Children's Television Workshop, now known as Sesame Workshop. And in 2000, Sesame Workshop 
was rebranding CTW and gave Sesame Street a new logo. Here are the characters. Comrade the Frog, I'm a rapport, but I'm completely different. Cookie Monster, I love food more than people. Oscar the Grouch, I will never leave this trash can. Abby, ooh, I love being good. Bert and Ernie, we're roommates, but we're completely different Muppets. Abby, ooh, I'm very magic. Let me. Rosita, hola, I'm Spanish. Grover, ooh, I love being blue monster. Elmo, don't tickle me because I'll turn into a plushie in the early 2000s and that's kind of it.